creation is an act of sheer will. Life will find a way. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're breaking down the Jurassic World Dominion trailer. We created an ecological disaster. For this list, we're looking at characters, callbacks, and other details from the official trailer for the third installment in the Jurassic World trilogy. Did you catch any small details in the Dominion trailer? Let us know in the comments. Number 5. More Scientifically Accurate Dinosaurs When Jurassic Park premiered in 1993, it was praised for showcasing such realistic-looking dinosaurs. While the effects have held up great, the dinosaurs aren't as realistic as we initially thought. Since then, it's been discovered that some of the dinosaurs, most notably the Velociraptor, had feathers. Jurassic World tiptoed around this revelation with Dr. Wu explaining that the park's dinosaurs' genetic code isn't pure. Nothing in Jurassic World is natural. We have always filled gaps in the genome with the DNA of other animals. And if their genetic code was pure, many of them would look quite different. But you didn't ask for reality. You asked for more tea. It appears the scientists finally cracked the code on producing feathers. This trailer provides a glimpse of the feathered dinosaurs, one of which can be spotted lurking in a forest as Claire seeks refuge underwater. We're racing toward the extinction of our species. Another confronts Owen and DeWanda Wise's Kayla against a snowy backdrop at what appears to be a secret facility. Dinosaurs of a feather rampage together. Number 4. Baby Blue In Fallen Kingdom, it's established that Blue is the last of her kind. The Blue is potentially the second most intelligent piece of life on this planet, and she's the last of her kind. She must be preserved. Well, not anymore, because Blue has an adorable slash vicious baby velociraptor in the trailer. It's unlikely that Blue was pregnant during Fallen Kingdom, as Dominion takes place four years later. So, either Blue found a mate, or life found a way. At one point, Owen says that they need to protect her. If they find her, we're never going to see her again. we got to protect her. That's our job. While he could be talking about Blue and her offspring, he might also be referring to Maisie, who was revealed to be a clone of Benjamin Lockwood's daughter. He created another. He made her again. Whoever they're protecting, it appears our heroes will be on the run. Blue and Baby Blue aren't the only living raptors either, as a couple of Atrociraptors will run wild in Malta. Number 3. Homages to the Original Classic Right off the bat, the trailer hits us with a nostalgic punch as John Hammond's narration plays over Owen wrangling dinosaurs. I wanted to show them something that wasn't an illusion. Something that was real. The dialogue stems from Hammond's conversation with Ellie Sattler about his motivations for creating Jurassic Park. Maisie and a group of construction workers stare in awe of a brontosaurus, taking us back to when the characters first arrived in Jurassic Park. There are callbacks to the previous Jurassic World films as well, with the Mosasaurus still swimming and eating. Claire can't catch a break as she comes face to face with a Dilophosaur, the same dinosaur that did in Dennis Nedry. There's even a nod to Jurassic Park 3, with Alan Grant once again telling everyone not to move, an instinct that Owen shares. Don't move. Number 2. The End of the Jurassic Era the trailer's text reads, Experience the epic conclusion of the Jurassic era. Does that mean this is the last we'll see of this franchise? <laughs> it's cute that you'd think that Universal would cease production of such a profitable property. Although Dominion is the end of this particular trilogy, producer Frank Marshall has also described the film as, quote, the start of a new era, meaning we'll likely get another entry eventually. We not only lack dominion over nature, we're subordinate to it. Based on the trailer and Marshall's cryptic words, our theory is that the next film won't carry the Jurassic moniker. If they follow the Mesozoic era, perhaps the sequel will be called Cretaceous World. Or maybe they'll work backwards to Triassic World. In any case, 
Can humans and dinosaurs coexist in this new era? Come back. I always come back. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Legacy Characters Reunite While Ian Malcolm made an all-too-short appearance in Fallen Kingdom, the Dominion trailer promises more of him. Bigger. Why do they always have to go bigger? It also finally reunites Sam Neill as Alan and Laura Dern as Ellie. Although Jurassic Park 3 revealed that the two had gone their separate ways, Dominion sees Ellie recruit Alan for one last mission. Ellie Sattler. Alan Grant. You didn't come out all this way just to catch up now, did you? You coming or what? All three legacy characters appear towards the trailer's conclusion, where Malcolm naturally gets the best line. This could be a reference to Goldblum's bigger line in Independence Day Resurgence. That is definitely bigger than the last one. It'd be fitting since the original Independence Day borrowed from Jurassic Park. Or maybe it's a callback to this classic line. That is one big pile of shit. Either way, we're happy to have the original trio back, and hopefully this time, their presence extends beyond a trailer's worth of material. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.